Hello everyone, my name is Mario Ordonez. Today is December 11th, 2016. We're going to be going over the sheep heart for Azusa Pacific University's Bio 235 class. Okay, so let's get started. So this, you have the sheep heart. And basically, we'll start off at the top. The epicardium is basically the outer layer of the heart. Up here would be the apex, and down here would be the base. The right atria would be over here, and the left atria would be over here. The right atria has deoxygenated blood, where the left atria, <laughs> excuse me, has oxygenated blood. Over here, you have the right auricle, and over here, you have the left auricle. Basically, the right auricle collects deoxygenated blood from the bloodstream, and it sends it to the right ventricle, and the left auricle collects uh, oxygenated blood from the lungs and sends it to the left ventricle so I can go ahead and send it out to the body. <clears throat> the interventricular sulcus would be right here and the major vessels that are found in the sulcus are the left and right ventricle. Here you have the pulmonary trunk and the pulmonary trunk has deoxygenated blood and it sends the blood to the left and right pulmonary arteries. The aorta would be <coughs> over here, if it were to be on here, and <coughs> basically the aorta, um, it has blood that's basically just going out to the body and that is oxygenated blood. The ascending aorta would be right here, <coughs> right below the aortic arch and the aortic arch would have basically three vessels attaching off from it. You have the brachiocephalic artery, the left common carotid, and the left subclavian. Uh, over here, you would have the superior and inferior vena cava, as well as the coronary sinus. All of these are veins, and they have deoxygenated blood and the chamber in which those would be going into would be the right atrium.